Hello and welcome to another edition of America's Horse News. I'm Billy Lofton. Coming up this week, we'll introduce you to an AQHA Ranching Council member and look at new ranching initiatives. Plus, we'll visit with Ken Banks, give you scholarship application deadlines, and preview the NCHA's 50th Anniversary World Championship Futurity and much more. It's all coming up on America's Horse News. Ranching is often referred to as the backbone of the horse industry. To help support and highlight the ranching industry and to promote their quality American quarter horses were deciding factors in the creation of AQHA's new ranching council and three ranching initiatives. Rob A. Brown was appointed to that new council. He and his family own and operate ranches in the Texas Panhandle. I feel like that uh, that is sure uh, coming at a, a, at a good time. Uh, in the industry. Uh, I think that uh, uh, with some hard work, uh, you know, I, I feel confident that this thing can grow and, and, uh, and be an asset to, uh, to the, the members and uh, to the quarter horse industry in general. The Ranching Council, along with AQHA staff, developed three ranching initiatives to highlight ranch horse breeders and their horses to ultimately help develop markets and boost sales for ranch horses. The three initiatives include the establishment of the AQHA Ranching Heritage Breeders, the AQHA Ranching Heritage Challenge, and the Youth and Young Horse Development Initiative. Helping, helping Ranching Heritage members market their horses uh, has to be a goal of AQHA and uh, add value to what they already have. The first initiative is called the AQHA Ranching Heritage Breeders. To be an AQHA Ranching Heritage Breeder, you must own at least five American Quarter Horse mares used to produce a working remuda, primarily for working cattle. The ranch or breeder must also have received at least an AQHA 10-year breeder award. If all these criteria are met, ranches or breeders that participate earn the title of an AQHA Ranching Heritage Breeder, and they are entitled to use a special logo for advertising and are allowed entrance into exclusive AQHA competitions and sales. I think it'll be uh, a great opportunity for those to participate um, because it uh, there again, it, it will be an outlet for uh, horses. It can promote their sale, uh, help sell horses private treaty. And I think uh, just through contacts of other heritage members, I, I think we will see improvement in the, uh, in the quality of horses that we're raising. The second initiative is the Ranching Heritage Challenge. The challenge is the competition initiative. It is a series of shows set up to feature ranch horses and the ranch style classes. We hope that there's a, uh, some people that have never thought about showing their horse that have a nice horse that they, they want to get involved and, and uh, become better horsemen and ride better horses. Finally, the third initiative focuses on youth. It is called the Youth and Young Horse Development Initiative. This program is set up to match youth wanting to learn about horse care and showing to AQHA Ranching Heritage Breeders. Youth must apply for the program to get matched up with a foal from a Ranching Heritage Breeder. The youth would train the horse to show and learn the responsibilities involved with owning a young horse, while the Ranching Heritage Breeders would be matched up with youth wanting to become future horse owners. For more details and to apply, interested youth and parents can visit aqha.com slash youth. A horse is a great uh, learning tool for, for young people uh, to grow up and learn responsibility. And there's just, uh, the sky's the limit on what they can do with a, with a horse. Uh, and uh, just need to expand those opportunities. Overall, the creation of the American Quarter Horse Association Ranching Council and the three major initiatives they have started will hopefully expand opportunities for ranch horse breeders, their horses, and help develop interested youth. For more information on the AQHA Ranching Council or any of these ranching initiatives, just visit aqha.com or call AQHA Customer Service with the number on the screen. Recently, the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum hosted a special reception in honor of Kenneth and Lena Banks. The reception took place during the Ataquan Select World Championship Show here in Amarillo. 
Kenneth and Lana were both on hand to visit with close friends and fellow supporters of the American Quarter Horse Foundation. Through their generous donations, the museum has a theater named in Kenneth's honor. The Kenneth Banks Theater is a place where museum visitors learn history and information about the American Quarter Horse, the association, and the foundation through an educational video. The theater also plays host to meetings and receptions year-round. For Kenneth, an AQHA director at large, and Lana, who is a national director for Texas, being involved in making a difference through donations to the American Quarter Horse Foundation really starts with the love of the lifestyle, the people, and of course the horse. I think the reason is the horse. I mean, we, we have been born with the horse, really, and every day we live with the horse. You know, this week we've been living with the horse at one o'clock in the morning. So the first thing we do in the morning is go check the horses. The last thing we did last night was go check the horses. Uh, we enjoy that horse way of life, and we enjoy the people that are associated with that horse way of life. And um, it makes us feel good. We, we like the concept of helping the lifestyle and inspiring people that have horses. The National Cutting Horse Association and the City of Fort Worth are gearing up for their 50th anniversary World Championship Futurity. We urge you to start making plans for an exciting equine vacation. While you're there, enjoy the culture and the many attractions of the host city. The NCHA and the Fort Worth Convention and Visitors Bureau have an incredible package of attractions and competitions for you to enjoy. Featured in this three-week show, of course the Staples, the Mercuria NCHA World Finals, the Neiman Marcus NCHA Futurity Champions Cup, and the Borden Milk NCHA Futurity. But spectators and visitors will also enjoy a chance to take home a future cutting champion at the Western Bloodstock Cells, an opportunity to participate in a clinic with world-renowned trainer Pat Pirelli, view a celebrity cutting, enjoy a chance to meet the legendary Buster Welch, and you can't forget about the two Dallas Cowboys home games and country western star Michael Martin Murphy's Cowboy Christmas, performed live at the exquisite Bass Performance Hall. Again, start making plans now to travel to Fort Worth, Texas from November 21st through December 10th for the Borden Milk NCHA 50th Anniversary World Championship Futurity. For more information, to book travel, hotels, purchase tickets, and more, visit the site on your screen, futurity50.com. Here is this week's Build for Tough calendar of events. Coming up this weekend, starting October 7th and running through the 30th, in Columbus, Ohio, it's the All-American Quarter Horse Congress. The AQHA Racing Conference and Bank of America Racing Challenge Championships run October 26th through the 30th in Los Alamitos, California. Of course, it's the Bank of America Amateur FedEx Open AQHA World Show, November 5th through the 19th in Oklahoma City. Don't forget the AQHA World Show Sell, put on by Professional Auction Services, Friday, November 18th. As we mentioned earlier, it's the Borden Milk NCHA 50th Anniversary World Championship Futurity. Runs November 21st through December 10th in Fort Worth, Texas. And finally, the NRHA Futurity. It's going to run November 24th through December 3rd in Oklahoma City. That was your Built for Tough calendar of events. As always, you can subscribe to or pick up the latest edition of the American Quarter Horse Journal for expanded calendars. A few quick final notes. Youth interested in applying for American Quarter Horse Foundation scholarships need to go online to aqha.com foundation to download the guidelines and to apply. Applications are due by December 1st. Also, set your DVRs, VCRs, or just make plans to watch Project Cowboy, a special one-and-one-half-hour reality-style show shot at this past year's Project Cowboy competition. You can watch all the excitement Monday, October 10th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on RFD-TV. Thanks for watching. For the American Quarter Horse Association, I'm Billy Lofton.